Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Amber Kelly and today I will be showing you how I store my inserts either that I made or just extra leftover paper. Um, I am still trying to get my organization going on because I will be moving my room around and I have furniture in here and I have a whole lot of stuff. So, I started off small. I'm trying to use some of these um, dollar finds to store different stuff. So, if you want to see this video, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see what is all in my little caddy that I got from Family Dollar for $1, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure that your notifications are on so that you never miss a video. And let's see what goodies we have. Okay, so like I said, this is the little caddy that I got from Family Dollar. And it's a square caddy. And it was a dollar. And you can also get this at Dollar Tree for a dollar as well. So you have like a longer slide um, section right here. A little shorter, rectangle-ish. And a smaller square. Now initially i had my pens in here but because the little holes are right here pens would not do good in here unless you sit a cup inside of here then it may work but i thought about it i said amber you have so many inserts that you have made or that you have left over so i made this my insert caddy so, I'll show you what all was in here. Like I said, I took everything out so you can see what the inside of it looks like. So, I just have all of my crafters um, tape in here. And like I said, sometimes I take this um, to my couch or sometimes, well, lately I've just been leaving it over here on my shelf. So, if I feel like I want to go get an insert and switch one out, then I can do just that. So... First, we have my dot grid paper that I'm not using right now because all of my happy notes are full. So I just have this on standby. And what else do I have? Oh, I have my sticky notes in here. So I made this out of cardstock. And I just adhesive tape on the back of these and I just stuck that on there and actually I used this in a planner um, which I did not do this time because I took the planner apart so I'm just using this as a little sticky note dashboard right now until I feel like using that cover again so I have that in there and especially if I want to get some sticky notes real quick I can just turn around at my desk okay so I have my placemat um, covers which these are classic size so I put those in there and like I said I just sit this behind me so if I feel like I need an insert from somewhere, then I can get one. I made these dashboards, well, not dashboards, but tabs that have all of the months on them. So if I feel like using these dividers in my classic planner, then I can do that because they're in here. This was a folder that was made and given to me. So I just set that in there. And you will see lots of randomness. But this is stuff that I have made over the time. And I don't want it to be destroyed. So this is another insert. Um, I used a pocket, no, a divider. No, a file folder from Dollar Tree. Had a coloring book, just cut the pe cut the picture out, colored it, stuck it on here, laminated it. So that is the back. So that is an insert if I just want to add something to 
a planner that I have and then I have these which I will be making more and I will be adding to my Etsy shop so these are little divider tab things for the top and here are more this was supposed to be a folder I was just playing around that goes in a happy that goes in a Nietzsche so I just made a little divider nothing fancy that goes in there and like I said everything that I have made goes in here so if I feel like I want to pull from it then I can and these are I have a cover that I made and this is a little skinny divider and these are covers that actually go on and let me show you so it actually goes on this so this is like a notes um type of thing so i just store all of my half sheet papers in here and i just do that so again if i turn around and i need a half sheet then i have it here so i just made a black a gold um type of cover and yes so i can switch them out at whatever time i want and normally normally i keep this right up here um i have some numbers that i found that i did not know i had so i have this for easy access and to not get lost and not use those i just set those in there again i have these pocket adhesive um pockets yeah adhesive pockets um, I keep those in here because sometimes I do do DIYs and I cut these in half and I put those in my classic planner and they can also fit in your Happy Nietzsche's as well. And I also have, I also have mini planner inserts. So these are the cover for a mini again placemats tutorial is on my youtube channel and i have one for the classic size as well and i have the flower one which i cannot find this pattern again i don't know what happened but yeah and i just put um some stickers on here and that and i used the same marble that I put on my desk. I just put that on there to add a little off to it. So I keep that in there and also these little uh, mini inserts. So I keep that in there. And I also keep my family dollar um inserts in here as well so these half sheets um, if you have not seen the tutorial on this it is on my channel please go ahead and watch that give it a big old thumbs up but i keep all of my inserts well half sheets that i get from family dollar in here so they won't get messed up so if i need a sheet i could just come over here and get that and last but not least i store my stencils all from Walmart I store my stencils in here as well so that is all that I really have in here like I said I store my inserts in here and as you can see my little um, half sheets and and family dollar um sheets in here so i do that right there and like all of my inserts are right here so if i need dot grid paper or if i want to add dividers or if i want to 
add another cover, then I could do that in there as well. And this is just my affirmation and um, gratitude sheet. Um, so I keep that in there, so which I will be adding this as well, which will be another cover for my family dollar um, situation. You can say. So I just keep that in there and we'll see what she do. Yeah. So like I said, if you like this video, give this video a big old thumbs up. Oh, not not to forget, but I keep my little cutter in here, my little card cut in here as well because I'm always looking for a card. Um uh, and of course, as my DIY grows, of course, this will grow. Um, like I said, this was a dollar. So I have a whole shelf. I could sit this on and add to it. So that is how that works. And yeah. So like I said, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up. If you like this video, don't forget to hit your notifications so that you can come back and see what else I have came up with. But until then, happy planning. See y'all next time. Bye.